During our time in the Galapagos Islands, we had several opportunities to snorkel. We saw some really beautiful fish. And we also saw the Galapagos green sea turtle. This beautiful animal is about uh, 33 inches in length and weighs about 400 pounds on the average. Like all of the animals on the Galapagos, the waved albatross was not afraid of people. He was standing in our pathway, blocking our way, and upon instructions from the guide, we just had to wait until he was ready to move. Like a stick? Everywhere we looked, we saw the albatross engaged in their mating rituals. Well, uh, the albatross days, the Galapagos albatross, While I was snorkeling, I came up and saw these penguins sitting on the rock. I took some video of them. Later on, when Gloria and I were snorkeling, we saw one swim right past us very quickly. A little too quickly for the video camera. Marine iguanas were everywhere. They feed in the water and take in too much salt. So when they come out of the water to get rid of the excess salt, they sneeze it out. You'll see that in a moment. Keep them apart from their uh, counterparts. No interbreeding. Uh, in their interbreeding to uh, dilute the changes. Sea lions are the entertainers of the Galapagos. They spend most of the day sleeping, but when they're not sleeping, they're having a good time playing in the water. Every day, this sea lion would visit the fish market. 
but he was trained to wait until pieces were cut off for him to eat. Oh, that's fantastic. The iguana, however, did not wait. Unique to the Galapagos Islands is the flightless cormorant. This bird evolved over a long period of time and lost its ability to fly. It's a great swimmer and uses its wings underwater. Yes, and this is the best. So all the other females. And then later. We were extremely fortunate to see the frigate birds during their mating season. At this time, the male's throat pouch uh, puffs up. He's able to puff it up, and it, to attract the females, he displays the throat pouch and then beats on it with his beak. The females choose a male, and then, as you can see in this scene, there they mate with that male. During the entire mating season, the male does not eat for about seven weeks as he works um, diligently to attract females. This guy's mating up here? Oh, man. In the Galapagos, there are different varieties of boobies. This is the blue footed booby. This is a Nazca booby chick. And this is an adult Nazca booby. For seven days. Yeah. And the Nazca boobies, when they are nesting, uh, they sit on the. There is the formation of another track here behind you. This is a school for fur seals. They are learning to fish. Uh, you see their fins up in the air because the water is cold and when they raise their fin up in the air, it heats their body. Oh! oh. 
Here's some orca whales fishing off the starboard side. It was exhilarating to walk among the giant tortoises in their natural environment. Some of these creatures are over 100 years old and weigh more than 600 pounds. The knowledge of the theory of evolution. While we were visiting the Darwin <laughs> Research Center in the Galapagos, yeah. we saw a tortoise named Lonesome George, who was actually alive when Darwin visited the islands. Well, let's make it short. Darwin has created his theory of